The UConn men's soccer team returns seven starters from 2012 and adds 11 promising newcomers to the squad. Bringing experience and a high level of competition, the 2013 Huskies are sure to bring some excitement to Stores, Connecticut. The guys are doing a good job, you know. Uh, Mama and Andre are being really good leaders. Colin, George, Mike McConnell, Besso, Yuho, Orlando have stepped up and helped the younger kids, and the younger kids are good players and good people, so this is really meshed in pretty good so far. Uh, the people were saying that uh, the team is not going to be the same. We have all the returning guys, and uh, we have really talented young guys, and most of them they from around Connecticut, and that's a good thing. It means like soccer is going up here. Those guys know, you know, why they're here. It's been tough, you know, it's a lot of, the newcomers are pretty competitive, you know, no one has a spot yet, we're always fighting for a spot, challenging. It's competitive, let me tell you, that is for sure. It's the most competitive preseason we've had in my 17 years here. What does that mean? I don't know, but guys are working at the end of the training session today, you saw it, guys are working and they're focused. These guys, they don't want to give me nothing here, and you know, that's what I like, because it's going to make my game better. It's going to be harder for me this year. Guy going to come after me and, you know, I need to know how to handle that. We can expect a lot of the same from Mamadou from last year, but uh, we've got a lot of guys that can help him. It's not just going to be on Mamadou this year. We've got Alondo, we've got Kyle and uh, Ethan Decker, who are, who are new guys to the team, who are going to add a lot to what we already have up top. Hopefully we're both aiming to hit double digit and just score as many goals as possible. My goal is to finish every chance I get. We've got three returning guys in the center of the midfield, so uh, each of us have to do a little bit more than we did last year to fill that void, and I'm up to the task this year. With Carlos and Josie out, it give um, guys like George, Colin, a lot more creativity, give them more space to do what they're capable of doing, instead of just always being the cleanup guy. Colin Bradley's played for four years. Besso's a special player. George is a very, very good player. Nicky Zuniga starting to come into his own a little bit. We've added a Dia de Graca. Alex Sanchez is a good player. You know, you got Tyler Lehman. We got enough guys. You know, the beauty is, right, when you have a good program, you hope that every year you can replace certain guys. And you can't replace Carlos and Josie or Cassio or O'Brien White, but you just hope there's enough good guys to keep it going. Guys are pushing each other every day, so I think the team has a good vibe. The guys have worked very hard. They worked hard all summer. They're a very fit, fit group. They're a very committed group, and it's a pleasure right now to be working with them. We're going to have a very difficult road, but we're looking forward to it. We just hope that the people will come out and help us lead the country in attendance like they have the last few years. The school give a lot, and we need to give back. It's time to give back, and I'm pretty sure we're going to be ready to give something this year, and I hope it's going to be the big one. The goals are always the same every year, so... We're, we're looking to make that last jump and get to the Final Four and hopefully bring back a championship to, uh, to stores. The Huskies will kick off their regular season on Friday, August 30th against St. Francis at 7 o'clock here at Joseph J. Maroney Stadium. Be here as the Huskies begin their trek to the College Cup. Reporting from Stores, Connecticut, I'm Emily Noonan for Huskies All Access.